All right, so continuing with our discussion of anchoring posts to the foundation, once again, I don't have a concrete foundation. This guy here is our slab uh, in this example. We have two post bases here. Both of these are made by Simpson Strong Tie. This one attaches to the outside of the post, and this one sits inside of a slot that you would cut inside the post. And this is what is inside of this slice. And you'll notice that there are three holes through this piece of metal. And these three holes drilled in the post here allow pins to be driven through the post, through the steel anchor, um, anchoring it down. There are three different numbers that you want to pay attention to when you're choosing these. One is the vertical load that the post base can carry. The other is the lateral load that it can carry. And finally is the uplift load. So these bases are doing many different things. Also note that in both cases, the post base is actually elevating the post up off of the concrete foundation. That is a code required thing to get a one inch clearance between the concrete and the bottom of the post unless the post is made of something that is inherently rot resistant. So if you're just using something like eastern white pine or non-pressure treated southern yellow pine uh, or any other wood that is prone to rot, you want to make sure you get that um, one inch lift off of the foundation. This base here is made for many different sizes. You can get a four by four, or six by six, and eight by eight. If you don't specify that you're using rough sawn lumber, you will get a base that fits nominal framing lumber. So it would fit a seven and a half by seven and a half. If you are using full dimension stuff or rough sawn, then you would specify uh, an R after the name. So this is ABU 88R. So it will take a full dimension eight by eight. What you can't see under here is the attachment of the post base to the foundation. So in the case of this CPTZ, which is their concealed post base, there are two holes drilled in the steel flange and we would use the Simpson Titan HD again, drill through that and bolt this directly to the concrete. Under here, there are again two different holes. They're in slots that allow you to rotate that post base a little bit if needed to get the correct orientation. So in the case of this concealed post base, you would position the blade correctly on the foundation, drill, install the Titan HDs, and then slide this over it, and then you're ready to install. But before you do all of that, you need to prep the base of the post, and you would use this to do that. Okay, so you can just put that right on the side of the post and it shows you exactly where to drill to locate those three pins to anchor the post to the post base. This base is a little bit simpler in terms of installation. You don't really have to do anything to the post. You just get the post base positioned where you want it, drop the post in, and then install these screws that Simpson Strong Tie also provides to anchor the post. So hopefully one of these three attachment details works for you. If you run into a peculiar situation or something that you can't seem to get the capacity out of one of these manufactured post bases, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We have employed, made, and used a bunch of unique post bases and tie-down systems throughout the years, meeting just about every requirement that we ran into. Uh, so again, if you need any help, give us a call. Uh, stop in and see us. Hope this was helpful.